There will be many times when you need to draw an arc. An arc is a portion of a circle or an unclosed circle. When a circle object is broken, it becomes an arc. There are many ways to draw an arc. Make sure to pick the one that suits your situation the best. I'm going up to my file tabs, I have them open for this time. Right click on the file tab area and click open. Browse to this section and look at the file called arc examples and open that one. So here we have some line work already created for us. Bit of a little caliper or bracket and a series of lines and other things here that we have. So we have this line work set up for us so that we can go ahead and work right in with our circles. Now the arc command defaults to the three point method. It's similar to the three point method when drawing a circle. Let me show you by completing some of these things here. So if we go to the home tab on the ribbon and into the draw panel, see here there's a button for the arc and if we click this fly out we get a lot of different ways to draw an arc typically though you're going to use the three point command and it creates an arc as you see here in the example using three different points and they're numbered one two and three and that's the order in which you create them one two three so number one is first number two is second and then third is your last you can start the arc command just by typing in the letter a and press enter now I'm going to complete this thing here. I'm going to snap to my end point. I'm going to type in end. Snap to it. There's my first point. That's where I'm starting from. Now I can click anywhere. So I'm going to click just right here. And as you can see, it holds the first and second point. The arc will always start at the first point and pass through that second point that we picked. Now the arc's shape, its radius, its length, etc will depend on where I put this third point at. And I can put it anywhere. And as you can see, the arc changes dramatically depending on where that third point is. I'm just going to snap to the end point of here. There you go. And once you create an arc, you can see here that it can be stretched, the radius can be changed, you can do a lot of different things to it. So if I just grip at it here, it'll bulge it out some more. I can click and edit here and move it around. I can even change the center. This is like using the move command. Press escape to let go of the arc. So that's the basics of an arc. The majority of the time, that's all you're going to need are those three points. I'm sure you noticed when I started the arc command, there was a center option. So when we start the arc command, in the command line, you can see here are some more options. Arc specify start point of arc or center. So I can start the arc command at the center point. So I'm going to click center or type in the letter C. And now the arc is asking me for the center point. I'm going to pick the end point of this shape here. So that's my center of my arc. And I'm drawing now my start point. So I'm going to click here with my end command for my snap. I'm going to snap to that end point. So it's starting at my same start point I had before, but at this defined radius. So as I stretch my cursor left or right, it draws a circle. Now notice, wherever I start from, by default, a circle or an arc are drawn in a counterclockwise direction. I'll zoom out a little. As I spin around to increase this angle, which I can just pick anywhere, or I can type in the amount of degrees that I want that angle to be, see it goes in a counterclockwise direction. Now if I hit the control key on my keyboard and hold it down, it will toggle to the other direction. It will now go in clockwise. So this is what you have to do. It used to be before in AutoCAD that you had to know where to start to get the right angle in, you know, the right direction. But this is a change that's happened in more recent AutoCAD versions. So this is a really nice thing. So you can create something that goes to the end here. And now it looks like I have this Pac-Man looking shape. So that's a nice little option. This will make your first point the center point of the arc, and it will make you draw all sorts of arcs. So now you have two ways to draw an arc, from a start point to a point in between, and then to an end point. Or now you can start at the center and get your start and finish points and at that defined radius. Now, you don't always know these points. That's what's great about the arc command. The majority of what you're going to need for your arc command are the two that I just showed you. But let's look at some of these. They're going to make sense. They're very straightforward. So remember to go to the ribbon, 
go to the Home tab, and into the Arc. If you click on this button here, you'll get a quick definition of how these arcs are going to be created. So we saw the three-point arc. We also have a start, center, end. This creates an arc using a start point, center point, and an end point. Now, it's a little bit different. So if I click start, center, end, now it's asking me for my start point. So I'm going to snap, type in END to this point here. And I'm going to create an arc that stretches all the way across here. Now it's asking me for the center point. Now there are options here that I can use in my command line. You may have more tools available to you by following the command line. Right now it's asking me for the center point. So I'm going to type in CEN to snap to the center point of this arc right here because I'm going to parallel it. You can see the little O snap coming up. Click it there. And now I'm going to draw my arc. Now it would come on this side here, but because by default, remember, it starts where you first pick your start point and then the arc is drawn in a counterclockwise manner. Hit the F3 button to toggle on my O snaps. That way I know I'm going to automatically snap to this endpoint. But I want the arc to come the other direction. So I'm going to press and hold the control key. And now it toggles the direction of the arc. This makes drawing the arc much more easy. Snap to there. And I've created that arc. I'm going to delete this one so we can see a little better. So I was able to create that arc right there without any issue. I didn't have to make any measurements. I didn't have to know any radius. I didn't have to know where the center point was. No coordinates, no length, nothing. I was able to fill in that arc exactly the way I wanted to. I can do the same thing with these circles here with this same command. So I need to find my start point. It's going to be there. And my center point, which is going to be here. In this case, I'm going to have to hold down the control key again and snap to right there. And I was able to finish that. It's a very useful command. So if I went with my regular three point arc, but I hit C for center, enter again. I'm going to start at this center point, use this for my start point. I have the radius, I have the center point. It's just in a little bit different order, and I can control it again. Very useful. And again, you don't always have all the points you need. So you just need to go through some of these. Another one you have here is the start center angle. It creates the arc using a start point, the center point, and you put in the angle. I want a start point. Let's say I'm going to start here. And now it's asking me for the center point of the arc right here. And it's asking for the angle. Now, if I know what that angle is, I can type it in. But if I don't, I can just snap to that point. And there it goes. So a lot of these are variations on a familiar theme or on the same sort of theme. What these commands are doing for you is that they're macros. If I start with a three point arc creation command, I can start at an end point or I can start at a center point. So if I start at the center point by either typing in the letter C or by clicking on the command line, the center option, I'm now drawing something from the center. I'm going to start from the midpoint of this line. Now I have options. I need a start point. So I'm going to start here at the end point. And now I can just click down here and it draws my arc. I can type in the degrees that I want or I can go by a chord length. So I can click here for angle or L for length hit L, then it's not asking for an angle anymore, it's asking for a length. And this will give me the length of that chord, which is this line right here. So if you understand how circles are made, and you understand the definitions of angle, chord, arc length, etc., you'll be able to use the arc command in a lot of different ways. Now you can also hit a start end direction. So if I click a point here, hit my center point, and then specify an endpoint for my arc, I can do one of these things. This is a nice option if you want to create a bit of a smooth arc. So if I click here, I click here, that defines my chord. Now I can come and draw this in a lot of different ways. I can match this line here, and it gives me a nice little symbol. You can do a lot of different things with it. We've looked at several of these different arc commands. This is your standard three point, this group uses the start and center and then varies on that. This one uses the start and the end and then it'll go by angle, direction, or radius. And these here start you at the center point, then go to a start point, and then we'll go by end, angle, or length. So depending on what you have and what you know and what you're trying to create, 
that will determine which one of these arc creation commands you want to use. Like I said, the majority of the time, your three-point arc is going to be fine. Now, another command option that you have in here is called the continue. So if you have an arc, just any arc anywhere, made by any of the methods shown, and then you want to continue that arc, but with a different arc, you can use the continue option. What this does is draw an arc tangent to the last arc that you've made, or to another line. So if I click here, you can see this is very sinuous, tangent to each other. If I have a line drawn, and I want to continue that line, but with an arc. So I come up to the arc command here in the ribbon, and go to continuous, and it makes an arc that is tangent to that line. Now, when you use all of these other commands, and you hit the enter key, it will restart the arc command, but it won't restart any of these special arc commands that you've used. It will only restart this regular three-point arc command. So in the case of this continuous, if you want to keep using it, you're going to have to keep going back to this continue arc command option. So keep that in mind when you just press enter to restart the arc command. It won't give you your specialized variations of the arc command. It will just give you the basic three-point arc creation command. And also remember, if you draw it and it's in the wrong direction, that's okay. Press and hold the control key and that will flip it around. That can be very annoying when you're trying to create an arc and you see that, oh, I've done it wrong. That's okay. Hit the control key and pull it down and that will flip it around the direction and that'll solve your issue there.